LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, but have different retainer clips underneath the keys. To help you find the correct repair video for your keyboard, we've created a searchable database. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, enter your laptop brand and model number, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on View Videos. A list of all compatible videos will appear. Select the retainer clip model that matches your keyboard. That's all, you're now ready to repair your laptop keyboard. For this keyboard, we will be showing the removal and reattachment of the J key for standard size keys, Enter for the wide side keys, and F12 for the top row small keys. For removal of the standard size keys, simply insert a tool under the upper right corner of the keycap, apply a gentle upward pressure, and the keycap will be removed. To remove the clip, support the bottom of the clip with your finger and insert a tool under both of the upper corners, the gentle upward pressure, and the clip will be removed. To reassemble your clips, we'll begin with two longer holes on the bottom side of the top clip and two holes and two small arms at the top and bottom of the bottom clip, respectively. Connect the two halves together, ensuring that the arms of the top clip go into the holes of the bottom. You may need to give a small snap on either side. They're connected. Then using metal hooks here and here at the bottom, and here and here on top, we will lay the clip down bottom first, Port, small pressure, the top corners, replace the keycap, press, and we're functional. To remove your wide set keys, insert your tool under the upper right corner, gentle upward pressure, and then continue around the edge of the key to separate from the clips and the metal support arms. To remove the retention clips, support the bottom of the clip with your finger, Insert your tool between the plastic and the metal tab at the very top. Gentle upward pressure to both sides and the clip will be removed. To reassemble your clips, we'll begin with a large opening on the bottom end of the top clip and a small divot in the top side of the bottom clip. Simply place the two halves together, ensuring the plastic arms of the top clip connect to the holes of the bottom and were fixed. Then using metal hooks here and here at the bottom and here and here at the top, we will lay the clip down from the bottom first, ensuring it's hooked there, small press at the top and the clip is attached. When removing the keycap, there are two metal arms that may or may not remove themselves. In case they don't, to place the keycap back on, Simply detach from the bottom. Then to replace the metal support arms, there are holes here, 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 and here, with each set of holes being for each respective arm. So for the top arm, we will insert into the top set of holes, making sure that they are behind metal tab supports for the clips and then insert the bottom arm into the bottom set of holes, ensuring it is also similarly outside of any metal support tabs. Then take your keycap, place on top of everything going on down here. Your metal arms may slide slightly out of place, but just push them back with a tool here and then firm presses all around the edge of the key, and we are fixed. For removal of the top row small keys, insert your tool under the upper right corner, small amounts of upper pressure, and the keycap will be removed. To remove the clip, support the bottom of the clip with your finger, insert a tool, apply gentle upward pressure under both of the upper corners until it is removed. To begin reassembling your clips, we'll begin with the top clip which has a slight upward incline on either side of the plastic arms here. And there are two holes and a divot 
at the top of the bottom clip. Then connect the two halves together, ensuring the plastic arms of the top clip enter the holes of the bottom. You need to give a small amount of pressure to either side and the clip is reassembled. Then using metal hooks here, 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 and here, we will place the retention clip bottom first, then small press top corners, replace our keycap, and we're functional. We'll now show you how to remove a laptop key. Simply pull on the edge of the key in a gentle but firm motion. Lift up and remove the key. It's that simple. If your key is loose and not sticking properly to your keyboard, your retainer clips are likely broken. This issue can be fixed by replacing your retainer clips. Replacement laptop keys and retainer clips can be purchased at LaptopKey.com. LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys.